Ten, stand by. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Coming up, we're learning new details about an off-duty deputy that started shooting a car. Serious charges and details next. And after a deal with Saudi Arabia, gas prices may soon skyrocket. We'll tell you all about the deal next as CBS Full Value 10 starts right now. Live from the Rio Grande Valley, this is CBS 4 News. Working for you at 10. Good evening, Valley. Welcome to CBS 4 Valley at 10. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Sydney at Lewis. And I'm Derek Garcia. We're starting off with breaking news. Take a look at this. Tech Stop wants drivers to avoid the overpass in McAllen. This is at I-2 westbound main lanes at the 2nd Street, and it's now covered with debris. It was hit by a vehicle. Scattered hit by a vehicle? Yeah, but... Tech Stop did not confirm what hit the overpass, but the damage... Did we just get that information right now? We're working yeah. on getting you updates on when this will all be cleaned up. Is that right? Seven of them like, were injured because of those airbags. This morning in Florida, educators are painting a terrifying picture of what unfolded at school when a 14-year-old student attacked his teacher with a pair of scissors. The sheriff's department arrested in the ninth grade and charged him with attempted murder. The president of the school said the student attacked the teacher inside of the classroom. When the, tr the teacher tried to run away, the student then chased her into the hallway and continued to stab her with the scissors, cutting her ear. Now, the student already had a record of attacking the teacher before. The 14-year-old student is likely to go before a judge in the next 24 hours. Five former police officers that were involved in the death of Tyree Nichols are facing federal charges. The officers were charged with federal rights violations Stop as they Jesus. continue to fight second-degree murder charges. The new charges come nine months after the violent beating of Nichols by the officers during a January 7th traffic stop. Here is home in Memphis. Nichols died at a hospital three days later. Coming up, another possible sighting of the escaped killer in Pennsylvania. Police believe he may be now armed with a rifle. We have the latest on the search after the break. A popular ingredient in over-the-counter allergy and cold medicines may be ineffective in tablet form. We're breaking down all those details. Stay with us. You want to see this for Valley at 10. And fade. Take break. In break confirmed, coming back to uh, 1321. Put in code this. So Sydney's gonna read it. Yeah. Let me know when I can go in there. Okay, I got out. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Uh you're gonna put a generic lower third or no? Cool. It's been coded, just waiting for the lower third. I should put this here, I should put new development? Or yeah, new developments. And you tell them? Yeah. Just I'm writing it, it didn't save. Oh, shit. She's writing it. Okay. Are you writing it in right now? Oh, sorry, not yet. Are you writing it right now? Yes. Okay. You need me to get out? One minute. You're good. Okay. You already made it in? We're starting with it right now? Yes, we're coming straight to the B-Buck with it. Right after right after that story, we're gonna have a stinger straight into two for boxes. Okay. We are not live, just testing the stinger. She needs to get out. Can you tell her to get out? Yeah, you see anyone. Okay. That one has the take prep, that's why I was I was a little bit more confused on that. 30. Ten, stand by. Stand by one. All right, here we go. And in three, two, one, we're up. We're bringing you an update to the breaking the news that previously reported on. Right now, text stop I mean, says the that the crash that happened on the I-2 Second Street Bridge <laughs> I got right there. after a car hit the lanes, sending debris onto the traffic lanes. At this hour, text stop did not confirm if there were any I'm injuries, the they did say okay. that the crash happened just before 9 o'clock. 
text shot does say the car hit that bridge causing the chance of debris yeah. to fall. Now we will keep you up Somebody to date too. on this incident. You're looking at the video right now that was sent in by one of our employees, Gabriela Gonzalez, but we'll keep you up to date with the very latest online and on air. Meanwhile, major developments today in the manhunt for